not uncommon for mid-school kids to come home with magic marker or ink on them. But an angry mother says the way they got on her son was bullying, and she is demanding action. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live in the Newsplex. Nancy? Well, Dick, that mother says two classmates drew all over the boy, teased him relentlessly. Now sheriff's deputies are investigating, and the mother is taking legal action. Ink marks on his neck, ink marks on his arms and hands. A New Mexico mom says this wasn't artwork. She says two fellow sixth graders did this to her kid at school, and that's not all. They broke his glasses. They ruined his cell phone. Why would you pour juice in a child's backpack when you're already 12 years old? That's just immature. Roberta Lujan says her 12 year old son, Margarito, was at school at the Powaki Valley Sixth Grade Academy when two of his fellow classmates went to town, riding all over the boy, then pouring orange juice in his backpack. Lujan says the school district waited four hours to tell her about it while her son walked around school with ink on him. She says what's more upsetting is months later, nothing's been done. This is assault and battery. They don't know that they battered my son. But now they're going to find out that that is assault and battery, and they destroyed his property, and they drew on him. Roberta says she filed a police report and wants the kids who she believed bullied her son at school to face criminal charges. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department says they are investigating, but so far, no one has been charged. Roberta Lujan has also filed a lawsuit against the Pewaukee School District. It's very cruel because he is having trouble sleeping. He has trouble functioning. He doesn't want to go to school. And he's one of the best kids in class. We asked Lujan what she wants the outcome of that lawsuit to be. And she says at least a thousand bucks to pay for her son's glasses, backpack, cell phone, and other expenses. Back to you. All right, Nancy Pawaki School Superintendent Adan Delgado says district employees spent hours investigating that case. However, he could not tell us if the kids involved had been punished. He also claims the district is doing everything possible to eliminate bullying.